Good day and welcome back to a, another TBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Explosive Chain Battle versus the Perfect Cell. So we're going to take a look at how to beat Perfect Cell in Explosive Chain Battle. We've done a couple guides on these already. The effective categories are going to be Android Cell Saga, Siblings Bond and Entrusted Warriors. This is against Cell Perfect Form. The list of advantageous characters that is red sparkly characters basically for those who don't know is here uh, you want to pick these characters because they do augment your score quite a bit and you want to make sure that these characters are in your support that you choose and that you set up for your friends setting up supports this time is very 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 straightforward uh, so the process is pretty easy and you should be able to crack the 100 mil mark uh, relatively easily i will be using a free to play team for the first run then I'll be using a LR team for the second run just to show you guys the differences in runs and how many different factors there are. Uh, as you can see, the missions are always the same. The main goal and the hardest goal always being to crack the 100 million mark. So you want to try and do that. In terms of supporters that you want to select on the super side, you're mainly going to focus on Android Cell Saga units uh, that are Gohan, basically, Gohan team. Uh, and you're going to throw in a couple Gokus in there if you have them. Uh, those are going to be the main units, uh, yeah, basically that you want to use, and they're going to be the most attractive units to set up as support. You want to set up good supports because it does help your friends out, and you obviously want to do so as best as you can. Uh, it does help out quite a bit. Then on the extreme side, you're going to be focusing mainly on Android 17 and 18 units uh, that are from the Cell Saga. So that does exclude Android 17 and 18 future. Although if you are running out of units, you can throw those guys in as well. Uh, it is going to help you out. Uh, and their links are still pretty decent with the selection. So try and focus in on those. But that is pretty much it for the supports obviously supports don't really necessarily help you per se but it's always good to set the best supports you can because you want to help out people to get to that 100 mil mark it's like a very community based thing at least the setting of supports is so for me i always feel like it's good to set decent supports uh, that can help people it also lets me see in my box where I'm lacking if I have an awakened units or reversed units that I have awakened etc so I do think it, it is worth it so yeah uh, in terms of the unit I'm going to use my attacker is going to be the LR Android 17 and 18 free to play unit I would suggest using the one of the LR Gohans rather uh, just to say remember you can always check your scorecard uh, to get an indication of how well you do but this doesn't factor in whether the supports you're using are rainbow units, whether they're advantageous characters, uh, it just factors in their links. So it just gives you an idea on how well they're linking, but it is some kind of metric for you to utilize uh, to when you evaluate friend units. I'm going to suggest on the extreme side to go for Android 18 units. Uh, try and pick those ones up just because they do kind of mesh a little bit better with the whole Pepe Gals thing. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for every selection that you do. Uh, and then obviously on the LR side, I would highly suggest that you use the LR Gohan uh, as a support or as a support friend, and that's gonna help you out the most there. So that is it for everything. Uh, as I always suggest, maybe slow down uh, the speed at which the allies come in, just to give yourself a little bit more time uh, before you make your decision here. Yeah, it's very pivotal that you choose three units that are going to link very well. Be very careful, try and choose Super Saiyan Gohans, not Super Saiyan 2 Gohans, and try and choose Android 18 units only, and not Android 18 future units. Uh, that's going to be my major suggestion here, but it is a little bit luck of the draw. This is probably where the most luck for me comes in. Uh, the selection of these three units is very dependent on who flies in. Uh, so sometimes you just don't manage to really get a set of three that just works well enough. As you can see, we fall barely short of the 100 mil mark, which is fine. It is what happens. It's not really the end of the world. Uh, it does yeah, tend to happen from time to time. So really nothing too bad. We'll send a nice to our support friends because, you know, it does help out. And yeah, 
uh, that's pretty much it for the free to play attempt. Now I'm going to try an LR attempt here but it isn't going to score nearly as high and I'm going to explain why so that you guys can understand why. Uh, firstly, comparatively to my LR Rainbow uh, AGL 17 and 18, uh, my Int Gohan is only at 55%. Now that's not the only reason why, but it is a large factor. Secondly, the supports I choose are not nearly as good as they were last time. Uh, you can tell, first off, right off the bat, linking wise, just not nearly as good a team. Um, generally, you can look, the link scores are lower. Uh, not to mention that there is less rainbow units across the board, which also factors in. And on the extreme side, it's also very similar. Um, lower scores, slightly in terms of linking and capacity, and then slightly less rainbow units as well. So again, just a good way, an easy metric. But the biggest difference is here. Uh, so last time I managed to get three Android 18s, uh, all of which were from the Android Cell Saga. Very, very important. Whereas here, I'm not going to manage to get that good a a three pairing, uh, the one Gohan I choose here, the one Super Saiyan Gohan I choose here, is a free to play Gohan and he actually doesn't have nearly the same kind of link set as the other two Super Saiyan Gohans. So you can see immediately that my link set is, is very weak. Uh, the free to play Goku Gohan unit as well share a couple decent links with the summonable one but they are missing a couple crucial ones, fierce battle etc. So just overall not really working. Um, like as intended realistically speaking so yeah for me um a hundred percent definitely was the weaker run as you can see in the score and those are kind of the reasons why now if you do have int logo on i do suggest using him uh, you will have a much higher chance at getting a better score than if you use the ally agl 17 and 18 but it's going to be entirely up to you. If you don't have either of those, you can use the LR AGL Gohan. Uh, he should also be a decent shout as a lead. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If we take a look at other people's runs, you can see they're using Int Gohan. Uh, makes perfect sense. And you can see that they are following a very similar strategy to myself. So we can kind of see how everyone's moving. But that's going to be it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, at on the video it does really help me out and leave a comment now i'll try and get back to you but that's it from me take care stay safe and i'll see you guys next time so until then as always bye